Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 drag spec build for you today, and this time it's for the Blackpool Beast itself, the TVR Speed 12. And in a very similar way to yesterday's light car company Rocket Tune, this is actually a two-stage tune depending on what you intend to use it for, long distance or short distance drags, but I'll get into that more in a second. You want your racing soft tyres of course, full suspension, I've increased the rear balance to six, but you don't have to do that. That's entirely personal choice. For the suspension, we've got the rear ride height on 70, front as high as possible, because you do want that airflow to improve top end acceleration, but at the same time, you don't want the car to bottom out off the line. Springs we've got on nine on the front and 5.1 on the back. For compression on the dampers, you want three on the front, one on the rear, and three on both for extension. Anti-roll as high as possible, with neutral camber and toe. For the gearbox, an auto setting of 249, and for the individual gears, 4.2, 2.6, 18.50, 1.4, 1.1, and 8.75, with a final drive of 2.7. For the diff, you definitely want the initial torque low, because this car is very prone to wheel spin, high acceleration, and low braking. All the power upgrades, obviously. And although the supercharger does have more torque, I would recommend using the turbo because it does give you more power and much better top end acceleration. I will be using NOS on this run. You want downforce set as low as possible, the full weight loss package, of course, and this is where it differs. If you plan on using this car as a long distance drag tune, say three, four, five thousand meters, then put the ballast to zero. If, however, you need this car to get off the line quicker, and you don't really care about top end, say for the quarter mile, then put 200 kilos of ballast over the rear wheels. So I'll be using that to demonstrate on this run. Traction control, I would definitely recommend having turned off. And as with most of my drag tunes, I'm using an auto box. Most people use a manual, of course, so you can potentially be quicker if you do. Now, adding the ballast makes it a lot slower top end for acceleration but it improves it immeasurably off the line. So like I said, it depends what you need the car for. I am, for the sake of the demonstration, using the quarter mile version, which is with the ballast, of course, and we're putting it up against the Alfa Romeo TZ3, which has more power, significantly higher top end acceleration, and for the most part, mid-range. And both cars are, of course, rear wheel drive. So let's see how they compare. Now, usually off the line, the Speed 12 has chronic wheel spin, which just makes it virtually useless for, for short distance drags. But as you can see, it's a lot quicker now. Now, the Alfa Romeo is always going to win top end, but for the best part of a thousand meters or just over, this can beat the Alfa Romeo. Now, this is, of course, the quarter mile version. So the top end acceleration is significantly reduced. However, it's much, much quicker off the line. The difference that the ballast makes, even with everything else being exactly the same, is massive. It makes this car quicker than you would ever think it could be off the line. 0-60 to 60 in 1.8 seconds with ballast. In 3.3 seconds, it'll get to 100. 5.6 seconds to 150. With the ballast, it will do the quarter mile in 8 seconds dead. It's actually a fraction under 8 seconds, like 7.95 or something. It's crazy fast for a rear-wheel drive model that is so prone to wheel spin. If, however, you remove the ballast, then you get better top-end acceleration. So, for instance, without the ballast, this car will do 0-250 to in 15 seconds dead. So, it just depends what you need it for, really. And this car can even cover, without the ballast, again... It can cover four miles, which is well over 6,000 meters, in under a minute. So it's a seriously, seriously rapid car. It's just a shame that the top speed doesn't match up to its acceleration. Hopefully they'll solve that on Gran Turismo in the future. So if you decide to use this tune, either as a quarter mile or a longer distance tune, I hope you find it fun and, of course, competitive. And if you're new to the channel or just found this helpful or interesting in general, Feel free to subscribe if you want to get tunes like this as soon as they come out. And as always, thanks for watching.